Hello guys, and I'm about to go off on a fucking rant. Pretty epic rant. A little off topic, but uh, nevertheless, it's pretty important. It's something I need to do. And this is about the fucking fidget spinner epidemic. And why this is such a big deal still after, what, two months now? Everywhere I go, I go to Walmart, I go to Target, they're everywhere. I see kids screaming their heads off, yelling at their moms to get them these fucking little toys. That it, There's simple construction, too. There's, I mean, you don't have to be a a mastermind engineer to design one of these things but for some reason this still blows people's minds oh my god ball bearings what the fuck are these whoa you know it's just a piece of plastic uh and a little bit of metal in the ball bearings and that's it i mean what the fuck else is it it's it's just a cheaply made toy that the majority of them don't cost more than what like a penny to fucking make these things they're cheap as shit and like, honestly, people are complaining about them falling apart now when kids are choking on them. Do you understand why they're fucking called ball bearings? Okay, you 30-year-old mom with a bowl cut. Do you understand why they're called ball bearings? Because they have these little, these little metal balls in them. That's how they're able to spin around. Okay, so yeah, when you, if you have a, a dick of a kid that just takes these things apart and chokes on them, let them choke. Teach them a lesson. Okay? Their stupid asses need to figure out <laughs> why they're called ball bearings. I mean, it, it's not even that difficult to figure out how these things work. Okay, they're just, they have these little ball bearings. If you've ever, if you ever had like a skateboard, I mean, they use the same exact fucking ball bearings. And honestly, like how this still blows people's minds, I will never know. And they have these things now called uh, fidget cubes. Or, you know, yeah, fidget cubes. They have these little fucking, like, switches and knobs and, like, little little buttons and shit that you can fuck with. And they don't do anything. But uh, this is supposed to be, like, the uh, newest version of a stress ball. Or, you know, because for some reason we need to, we need to make a new product that's going to sell a whole bunch. And we're going to sell millions. We're going to make billions off of this fucking product idea that's honestly just, it's brainless. Anyone can do it. It doesn't take a lot of effort. Uh, you, but again, people are acting like, oh man, I, I should have jumped on this one. It was popular. Well, apparently, doing a little research, this shit was like invented in the 90s. Okay? <laughs> and it didn't get big until 2017. So if you're like bragging about, oh yeah, I got on this trend like really early. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry I didn't feel like fucking waiting 17 years to actually make any real money off of this shit. But yeah. So now, and not to mention, you have all these assholes in schools and shit. Now they're complaining and saying, oh, well, uh, they're becoming a distraction in the classroom now. Oh, really? Because a bunch of 8-year-olds, like 38-year-olds in a room, spinning these little plastic pieces of shit in their fingers, that's not a huge distraction. That's not going to infuriate you. Go figure. But anyway, I, I love it when people, like, when you see uh, principals they, on the news and all that, they have to get in front of the camera and they're, they're just going to say, well, we just think these things are now a distraction and uh, we're going to advise against parents allowing their children to, to bring these into our schools. They're basically banning them. They're banning them from schools, just like they've banned, like, yoga pants and all that shit now. It's just a, it's, it's a bunch of bullshit. Like, are we becoming that dull now as a society where we think this is a good idea? Hold on, wait, watch this shit, watch it. Oh my god! <laughs> Got fucked up there. But yeah, are we becoming so dull as a society where we think this is such a great idea? Like, holy shit, let's just... You could have just pulled a skateboard wheel off your actual skateboard and just given it to a kid and say, hey, spin this between your fingers, and it's the same exact thing. I'm not even kidding in the slightest bit. It is the same exact thing. How this thing just caught on now, these have been around. I mean, this is common knowledge. You put something between your fingers and you can spin it. It's going to occupy even the most retarded fucking people in the world. But yeah, now people have uh, said, oh, oh, it's uh, supposed to help me with my ADD or my ADHD. It's supposed to help me uh, focus. Yeah, focus on the fucking fidget spinner, not anything else. I don't know how... what. What are people, you know, doing their research on? Are they actually doing legitimate research? Or are they just making this statement out of thin air, just saying, oh, this is going to help me focus? No, that's just a fucking marketing ploy. You're just trying to sell your product. It's not factual. 
What you did like a like a fucking test study with a control group and shit? No, you didn't. You just made up some lies just to sell these little piece of shit toys. You know, when I was a kid, we had these things called tech decks. Not to be confused with deck techs, what I do, but we had these things called uh, tech decks. Little fucking skateboards and little scooters, but they're for your fingers. And you used your fingers to do them. They were stupid as hell, but at least they had a purpose. At least it was like, oh, cool. Look, uh, you know, you could do kick flips with your fingers and shit. It was the dumbest thing ever. And uh, But you always had some, like, 12-year-old boy just fucking went around with this shit. Uh, but again, that at least that had a purpose. It was stupid, but it had a purpose. This is just, oh, you're putting it between your fingers and you're just spinning it around. And that's it. Does it do anything else? No, it just spins. It's supposed to help, like, kids with autism and ADD and ADHD and... First of all, fuck you and all your self-diagnosed bullshit, okay? Don't come to me and say, oh, your kid has ADHD and this actually helps them out. First of all, I've talked to my parents' generation, my grandparents' generation. They said, what the hell is ADHD? No one was ADHD when we, when we were younger. It was just called self-discipline. You, you either had it or you didn't. God damn. So now they're like trying to say, oh, we need we need all these things to help us out with our problems. We have social problems. We have mental disorders and stuff. And, and now they're like, I mean, I could go on and on about all the bullshit. Like people I know who have been diagnosed with uh, ADHD and all the like they're taking Ritalin. They're taking all this shit. And it looks like they're doped up on fucking morphine. Like they're completely different people. Like when is like being hyper or disinterested being considered like some disorder like a mental disorder it's just called a character trait you know they don't make pills for someone being a complete dickhole i don't understand like let's just make medicine for people who are just assholes or just you know come on i mean these are character traits you're not going to make medicine for someone being like a jerk or you know again why make it for someone who's disinterested oh they have a problem they have a uh, something's wrong with their brain that's keeping them from paying attention. So uh, we need to give them some pills. So now it's like, oh, let's make these toys now and sell them to stupid parents and stupid kids. And, oh, we're going to make millions. Oh, there you go. Best investment they ever made. We're going to profit off of the stupid snowflake generation. I can, oh my God. If we're generation snowflake, I can only fucking fear for what's coming next, man. If this is the sign of what's to come, man, and everybody's like twiddling these little pieces of plastic between their fingers and oh my god and I thought a lot of people in my generation were stupid I mean, we had all the skater douchebags when I was like 13 and everyone was like trying to model their lives after fucking Bam Margera and now we have these kids that are just so dull that they're going back in time like come on like I remember when your grandparents used to tell you stories about how they used to play baseball with like sticks and stones and you know and you just believe them because their lives were that bad because they didn't have the internet. But this is what kids are actually doing now. They get entertainment out of a little piece of plastic that they're twirling around between their uh, index finger and their thumb. And it just amazes them too. And I'll tell you like how I first found this shit out. I was, believe it or not, watching Ellen DeGeneres. Because I don't have direct TV and it just turned the TV on. I just left it on. Uh, so And then there's this kid that just comes out and he's like, Hey, Ellen, guess what? I have this thing that's called a fidget spinner and it, it goes between my fingers and it spins. And then she's just looking like, holy shit, this kid is retarded. But again, that's like, I see this all the time now. Everywhere I go, public places, kids are screaming their heads off at their parents. So now you ha you've uh, been breeding this entitled generation now saying, hey, uh, give me stuff because I have a problem. Or I've, I've self-diagnosed myself with ADHD or ADD, so uh, uh, give me toys and stuff to help me focus. Oh my god, and, and it just now you have these dumbass liberal teachers now. They're just saying, oh, well, we need to incorporate these fidget spinners in the activities now because we want to be all inclusive to people who have attention problems in schools, and these have been proven to help. No, they haven't been proven to help with shit. Okay, that's all marketing. They're smart people because they've been able to fool you idiots into thinking that this shit actually works. Okay, and something that was also meant to just help out kids with uh, attention problems and bullshit, it actually helps, it, it's, it's basically being used for every kid now. Every kid's like, oh, it helps me concentrate. So you're telling me every single kid now has ADD, ADHD, 
No, every kid just, I mean, you need to beat your kids, okay? Get them in, get them to the point where they have their own, you know, self-discipline. They form their own self-discipline. They have, uh, you know, consequences when they're young so that they know how, uh, what not the fuck to do when they're older. I mean, this is just, this is a part of fucking evolution, I guess, to the point where we're, we are now reverting back to, I don't even know, like, what the hell, what, why is this interesting? I mean, this is the same generation that we have all these same kids that fucking get so excited over Minecraft. And yeah, I mean, I like Minecraft too, but I'm not obsessed with this shit. Kids are just screaming their heads off on YouTube videos, Twitch feeds, all that shit. Uh, look at me, I'm playing Minecraft. And just the whole concept of the shit too. It's like, let's just go back to the days of old 64-bit uh, video games, why don't we? People got a huge thrill out of that shit. Now people are getting a huge thrill out of this simplistic bullshit. I mean, it doesn't even have a purpose. I mean, when I was a kid, I played with uh, Transformers, and that shit was like the bomb. Because they actually did shit. They were, they were not a linear toy. They actually was like, oh, cool, they're action figures, and they transform. They're cool. These just spin around and shit. Like, what the fuck? They just spin around, they're little pieces of plastic attached to a ball bearing. And just look at this shit again, like, what is the purpose of the ball bearings on the on the outside? Like, what, what are the... There's four ball bearings I'm looking at right now. What is the purpose of the other three? If you're holding it by the center, what is the purpose of the other three ball bearings? It, it frustrates me, man. I don't understand this shit. Look at the fidget cube. Like, what is this? You're making, like, millions off the stress ball all over again. And these retards are going to give you this money, and it's fucking bullshit. God damn, man. I'm, I am ashamed. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Like, I'm serious. Like, just take Magic the Gathering and just put me in a rocket ship and fly me all the way to the fucking moon, man, or Mars. I don't care. I don't know if I want to go to Mars. That's where all the SJW assholes want to go, too. Damn, I just want to get far away from this fucking shit, man. I am fearful for what the next generation beyond Generation Snowflake is going to be. What's more fragile than a snowflake? I don't know, man. This is just, this scares the shit out of me. God damn. Oh, check out my other videos, please. <laughs> like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.